Hi, welcome. Today I'm in Houston, Texas, America. And there's two uh, school buses behind me. For me, they're extraordinary. I really love them to see. We don't have them in Europe and uh, it's only something that I see in movies. So I thought I'm going to shoot this film uh, before the buses. So today I'm in Houston and yesterday I flew in and I was speaking to an extraordinary person. This person was blind and I was speaking with him about his blindness. He told me, he was 50 now, that when he was 30, his right eye gave up. And then he thought, you know what, I still have my left eye, no worries. And then, after three years, his left eye also gave up. And the result was that he only had a vision of 30%, and actually only a little bit on the side. The middle is just black and blurry. And I said, how, how is that? That must be awful. And he said, yes. And the thing was, was the worst that I was losing my, I, was lo I lost my independence. I couldn't go from A to B anymore on my own. But he said, I didn't give up my dreams. He was an opera singer and he was performing all over the world and he was teaching young, young talents as well. But he also didn't give up hope to be, have a vision anymore uh, 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 in, in future. And he said, um, there's stem cell research, so I have this, I have a big belief, I will see one day. And then he said to me, imagine, I will look in the mirror and I see myself just 20 years later. And I will see all the people around me, 20 years older. And then I thought, how many people do see and do look in the mirror every day and don't see themselves? They don't see how extraordinary they are. They don't see their dreams. They don't see everything what they have in life. And I realized I have so much in life. I can see, I can smell, I can hear, I can walk. Beautiful people around me. I have a job I like. Wow, I'm so fortunate. And I woke up in the morning and I saw the blue sky and the sun came up. And it was extraordinary. And I saw it, like I saw it for the first time. I saw the flowers in the garden, beautiful colors, yellow, blue, purple. And I really saw it. I heard a very beautiful song on the radio and I, I, I loved it. I realized what I got. How often don't we realize what we have anymore? And it can just take it away from us. This guy didn't think when he was 25, oh yes, I'm, uh, oh yes, I, I, have, I have a vision, wow. No, we just wake up and we think it's normal, but it's not. So many things are not normal until you just realize until it's gone. And when you have this gratitude, you, you value so many things so much more. And then you have this, you can rele uh, have, you know, relevate. Okay, I have stress, but I also have this. And then you will be so much more balanced in life. So maybe today it's December and for me December is a beautiful month because it's also winter. I mean in my country Holland it's winter. So when you, when you listen to this and you're in another part of the, of the world and it's summer, you can do that when it's winter at your time. But for me winter is like that you, that you, that you take a step back. The leaves let go, the, the, the leaves were falling out of the tree and they didn't want to hold on to the tree, no, they just, they just fell on the floor to go back to the roots. And, and the tree knows, you know, in spring there will be new, there will be little new leaves coming out of, the, out of it. Nature has like a, like a sleep, but it's not that it doesn't do anything. It's, it's, it's reconsidering everything. So maybe you can do that at this time of the year. What do you have? And maybe you write people a letter to say thank you. Thank you for being you. And write yourself a letter. So important, we never do that because we think it's weird, but it's not. Say to yourself, look, I love you. You are super cool. So proud of you, what you achieved this year. And I'm behind you. Just reflection time. Reflection time on being you being in this world, reflection on everything you have that gifted to you. 
So if you want to share anything, please let me know because when we share our, our stories to each other, we create happiness, we create balance. We need each other. I cannot do this on my own. If you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, I would love to welcome you here. And I also want to let you know that you can still subscribe on my free video series, Buddhism in a Nutshell. Just leave your uh, email address on my website and I will send it to you straight away. And maybe it, it helps you also to get a little bit more happiness in your life. So thank you for being here. Thank you for being you. And I hope to see you again next time.